Today we have the Samson C01 condenser microphone in the studio. There have actually been quite a few people that have requested this microphone be tested out. There is an XLR version of this microphone and a USB version of this microphone. This is in fact the XLR version. Today we're going to go over all of the basics of this microphone. We're going to test it out and then I will give you my review of it. Well, let's not waste any more time. Let's not meander around. Let's jump right in. What's up, audio nerds? Welcome to the Audio Hotline. As stated before, this is the Samson C01 XLR microphone. This microphone can be found pretty consistently online for $79.99. I will have an Amazon affiliate link down below, so if you decide you do want to buy this microphone and you want to help me out, clicking that link and buying it there would, uh, would help this channel uh, keep going. Because <laughs> shit, I'm broke <laughs> buying all these microphones. No, I'm just joking. I'm good. I'm good. I'm fine. And uh, just so you know, if there's like a blue light on my face, it's because uh, there's a blue light pointed at my face. Also, I'm trying out a new camera today. You should let me know what you think. If you uh, know cameras and you want to take a random stab at what camera it is, leave it down below and uh, maybe I'll send you something free. It'll probably be a Behringer XM8500 because that's what I usually send. It's a great microphone. It's such a good little inexpensive microphone. If you want to play that game, comment down below. Obviously, the first one who gets it will win the prize. That's how life works. I have actually tried out a few Samson microphones on this channel before. I recently reviewed the Q6. To be blunt and honest about it, I hated it. But a while ago, I did try out the Samson Q2U, and I did like it a lot. I thought it was a good microphone for it being a USB and XLR microphone. So needless to say, it's a, it's a bit of a mixed bag on Samson mics on the audio hotline right now, but this one could, it could change stuff, could change things. We'll see how it turns out. Today I am recording the Samson C01 into my Zoom H5 with the gain set at about 45%. I will occasionally use a pop filter. This is the Stedman Pro Screen 101. So I'll be doing some tests with it, some tests without it, just giving you the best example that I can how this microphone can sound with and without a pop filter. I can tell that beyond the grill of this microphone that there is some protection in there. It's like foam, but uh, we may uh, use a little extra protection. Can never be too careful, kids adults. Maybe I shouldn't say kids. I feel like that's creepy. Well, now let's go ahead and talk about what comes in the box when you buy this $80 microphone. When you open the box for the Samson C01 condenser microphone, you will find a storage hard case. Inside of that protective hard case, you will find some documentation. Beyond that, you will find the Samson C01 microphone with a mic mount already attached to it. Inside of that mic mount, there is in fact a stand adapter. First thing that I have to say about this microphone is the fact that it does actually feel really solid. The grill is really nice, the body is really nice. I don't have any problem with the build of the actual microphone. The mic mount itself is plastic, and actually the base of the mic mount feels pretty cheap plasticky, but it's it's okay. I do like the little blue indicator light, except for when it comes to shooting video like I do. That kind of bugs me. I like to have control of my light. I guess I'd probably usually put a little piece of tape over that. This was overkill, obviously. Got it. Problem solved. A lot of wasted tape there. When it comes to the mic mount, another thing that I'm not a big fan of is the fact that it doesn't have like a hand tightening thing. It's only a screw. I like being able to put these in whatever position I need to, just tighten it down and I'm good to go. I don't want to worry about having a flathead screwdriver with me to make this microphone stay the way I want it to. It definitely seems sturdy now, but it's one of those things that over time the microphone will, uh, you know, just make it looser just because of the weight of the actual microphone. So I, I think that, you know, it'd be it'd be nice if it had a little, what do you, would you even call that? Like a hand crank? Like a little hand screwdriver thing? I do love the case that comes with this. I think it's really nice. I love it when microphones come with cases that you can store them in. Fantastic. So when I went to get the stand adapter out of the actual mic mount, couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. I went to extreme lengths to get this out. I think that the threading is just already shredded inside of it, so it can't grab onto anything. So I had to rig up this whole weird thing just to mount this. It was kind of upsetting. 
But enough about the build quality, let's go ahead and move on to the specs. The Samson C01 is a hypercardioid XLR condenser microphone. It has a frequency response of 40 Hz to 18 kHz, with a sensitivity of negative 33 decibels, a max SPL of 136 decibels, an impedance of 200 ohms, and a phantom power requirement of 36 volts to 52 volts. When it comes to the frequency response of this microphone, it's actually not as boosted as I thought it would be considering it is an $80 microphone. I do feel like a lot of microphones that are under $100 tend to have an extremely boosted high end. However, this does have a boosted high end, it just isn't nearly as boosted as I expected. Well, now that we've gone through the basics of this microphone and we've talked about the specs, let's go ahead and test this microphone out. If you want to get as close to the C01 as middle-aged women want to get to Jim Hopper, Stranger Things, then here is how the microphone would sound. If you're going to talk into your microphone really close while you're using a pop filter and not allow it to be as effective as possible, here's how it would sound if you did this. Peter Piper picked a patch of pickled peanutses. 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 When you talk into the front of the Samson C01, here is how it sounds. And if you talk into the side of the Samson C01, here's how it sounds. And if you talk into the back of the Samson C01, the anal side, then here is how it's going to sound. If you want to get this microphone to use it for podcasting, voiceover, or anything where you're going to want some post-processing on it, here is how this microphone could sound with a little bit of EQ, possibly, if I put it on, then I'll put it up on the screen, with some compression, some DSing, and then usually a little bit of a noise remover to get rid of that noise floor that the compression brought up. I'm doing a lot of hand signals for some reason. <laughs> if you're thinking about getting this microphone for YouTube gaming and you're going to be typing on your keyboard, or any other thing where you're going to be talking into a microphone and typing on a keyboard, then here is how the background noise rejection does. If you want to put a little bit of distance between you and the Samson C01 so it's not on the camera screen, then here is how it sounds about three feet away. <laughs> Well, now that we've gone through the overview, the specs, and the testing, I'm going to go ahead and get to my review of the Samson C01. I kind of have a hard time getting excited about testing condenser microphones out that are in that $80 to $120 price tag. The reason why is that I feel like a lot of them are just kind of underwhelming. When I say the $80 to $120 price tag, I of course don't mean every microphone. There are, of course, good microphones that fit in that price tag, but there are a lot of microphones that are kind of bleh that fit in there also. But actually, when I listened back to the audio of this microphone, I was a little bit surprised by it. The reason why is because I thought that, like other microphones in this price tag, it was just going to have a super boosted high end. I feel like a lot of microphone manufacturers use that to their advantage to pretend that the microphone has clarity, but I thought this was interesting that it didn't take that route, it just accented a couple high-end things, and honestly, I feel like it, it worked. I do think that this microphone sounds pretty good. You could really, really make it shine with some EQ. You know, it's not entirely a blank canvas. There is some EQ that they're already boosting, but I already think that it is a good starting point and just making some minor adjustments to fit your voice, this microphone would work really well. So I actually do like the sound of this microphone. I like the build of the microphone. I hate with every fiber of my being the microphone mount, but it's okay because I like the microphone case. I mean, this definitely isn't the most lively microphone, it's not the most bassy microphone, but it does a good job of representing the human voice. When I was doing the background noise rejection test with the keyboard, I really think that that clickiness of the keyboard was really coming through because of that weird high-end boost that you're getting out of talking into the back of this. So this is definitely not the perfect microphone if you're going to be in a gigantic room with a ton of reverb and you want it to be a very dead sound. And it's also not going to be a great microphone for YouTube gamers who are going to be click-clacking on their keyboards or their 
controller thingies. So I would steer clear of it if you are into those things. But for spoken word and vocals, I do think this microphone sounds good and you could definitely make it work with your voice with a little EQ. So for this being an $80 microphone, I thought that this was a pretty good deal. And once again, Samson impressed me a little bit. I was expecting to not be too happy about this because of the recent Q6 review that I did. And I just, I hated that thing. I thought it was so bad. So I'm happy that they turned my impression of them around and now I, I, I like them again. Maybe the Q6 is their only piece of shit microphone. I don't know. But with all that being said, if you personally like the sound of this microphone, get it. If you don't, there are a ton of other microphones in this price category that you can check out, some of which have been reviewed on this channel. So the grade that I give the Samson C01 XLR microphone is a B+. Plus. So I do think this microphone is solid and it is worth the money. Thank you for watching this review of the Samson C01. I hope it helped you out in deciding whether you want to buy this microphone or not. But most of all, I hope you had fun. Stay tuned for a lot more reviews, a lot more comparison, a lot more tip videos. We're going to get into some other little different videos. So stay tuned for that if you want to see stuff. Once again, thank you subscribers. I really appreciate you guys. And thank you for watching the audio hotline. I'll see you audio nerds next time.